In this video, I'll show you the best Windows registry settings to supercharge your system for maximum performance and higher FPS. Whether you're gaming or multitasking, these tweaks will give you the edge you need. Don't miss out. Hit that subscribe button for more tips, tricks, and PC optimization guides. Let's dive in. In the first step, we will clean up junk data from your PC. To do this, open the Windows search bar and type temp, then press enter. Next, click on temporary file settings. Select all the available options by checking the boxes and then click the Remove Files button to delete all the junk data from your PC. Next, open the Windows search bar, type Registry Editor, and run the program as an administrator to ensure full access. Once inside, we'll make some changes to the Windows 32 priority settings and add two other settings. To start, refer to the video description and copy the provided path into the Registry Editor, then press Enter. Navigate to the specified location and double-click on the Win32 Priority Separation Registry file. Set its value to 26, change the base to hexadecimal, and click OK. Next, we'll add two new registry values. Right-click anywhere in the Registry Editor, select New, and then choose DWORD, 32-bit value. Name this value IRQ8 Priority and press Enter. Double-click on it, set its value to 1, change the base to hexadecimal, and click OK. Repeat the process. Right-click, select New, and choose DDWord 32-bit value again. This time, name it IRQ16 Priority. Set its value to 2. Change the base to hexadecimal and click OK. This will finalize the required changes. In the next step, we will optimize the keyboard and mouse data queue size settings. Start by copying the path provided in the video description and pasting it into the registry editor. Once there, locate the keyboard data queue size registry entry and double-click on it. You can set the value to 12 or 16, but for my system, I've set it to 65. Adjust the value according to your preference. Next, change the base to hexadecimal and click OK to apply the changes. In this step, we will optimize the mouse data queue size settings. In the registry editor, press M to quickly locate Moo class, then select parameters. Once inside, find the mouse data queue size registry entry and double-click on it. Set the value to 12 or 16, depending on your preference. After that, change the base to hexadecimal and click OK to save the changes. Now, we will disable power throttling. To do this, copy the path provided in the description and paste it into the registry editor, then press Enter. Once you navigate to the specified location, double-click on the power throttling off registry entry. Set the value data to 1, change the base to hexadecimal, and click OK to apply the changes. Next, we will make changes to distribute timers. Start by copying the path provided in the description and pasting it into the registry editor. Press Enter to navigate to the location. If the distribute timers registry entry is already present, double-click on it. If it is not available, simply create it by right-clicking, selecting New, then DWORD, 32-bit value, and naming it Distribute Timers. Set the value data to 1, change the base to hexadecimal, and click OK to save the changes. Now we will disable network throttling. Start by copying the path provided in the description and pasting it into the registry editor. Press Enter to navigate to the location. Once there, locate the network throttling index registry entry and double-click on it. Set the value data to 8 time F and E, change the base to hexadecimal, and click OK to apply the changes. Now we will optimize TCP settings. Start by copying the path provided in the description and pasting it into the registry editor. Press Enter to navigate to the specified location. Once there, locate the default TTL registry entry and double-click on it. Set the value data to 64, adjust the base to hexadecimal, and click OK to apply the changes. Next, locate the global max TCP window size registry entry. Double-click on it, set the value data to 7FFF, and change the base to hexadecimal. Once done, press OK to save the changes. Next, locate the TCP1323 Ops registry entry. Double-click on it, set the value data to 1 and change the base to hexadecimal. Once done, press OK to apply the changes. Now we will make changes to the game priority entry. Copy the path provided in the description and paste it into the registry editor. Press Enter to navigate to the specified location. Once there, locate the CPU priority class registry entry and double-click on it. Set the value data to 3, change the base to hexadecimal, and click OK to save the changes. Now, we will disable Nagel's algorithm. Copy the path provided in the description and paste it into the registry editor. Press Enter to navigate to the location. 
Once there, locate the TCPNO delay registry entry and double click on it. Set the value data to 1, change the base to hexadecimal, and click OK to apply the changes. Now, we will increase system responsiveness. Copy the path provided in the description and paste it into the registry editor. Press Enter to navigate to the location. Once there, locate the increase system, responsiveness registry entry, and double click on it. Set the value data to 0, change the base to hexadecimal, and click OK to apply the changes. In the next step, you need to download the pack using the link provided in the description box. Simply visit my website to download it. Once the download is complete, extract the RAR file to your desktop and open the folder. Inside, you'll find several folders including RAM optimizations, MSI utility, and a text file named Get Maximum FPS and Lower Ping in Any Game. Start by opening the RAM optimizations folder. Inside, execute the appropriate registry tweak based on your PC specifications. Now, in the next step, open the MSI Utility folder and run the tool as an administrator to ensure you have permission to make changes. Once inside, locate the High Definition Audio Controller, check the MSI box, and set the interrupt priority to high. Next, find your GPU in the list. For example, I have GTX 750 Ti. Check the MSI box and set its interrupt priority to high. After configuring these settings, click the Apply button to save the changes. In the next step, go to the pack and open the Get Maximum FPS and Lower Ping in Any Game text file and copy the command from there. Then, go to your browser, paste the link, and click on the Download for Windows button to begin the download. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now, in the next step, we will repair corrupted Windows files. Start by opening the Windows search bar and typing CMD prompt. Once it appears, right-click on it and select Run as Administrator to ensure you have full access. When the command prompt opens, type the following command. SFC or Scano and press Enter to begin scanning for any corrupted files on your system. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and share it with your friends. Got questions or tips? Drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on the latest PC optimization tricks. See you in the next one.